Hello everyone, today we will discuss about Maple Zero heist that was happening back in 2012. Let's begin. On the morning of July 30, 2012, an accountant named Michel Covreau arrived at the Global Strategic Maple Syrup Reserve housed Trans-Canadian Highway in St. Louis de Blandford in a huge red brick warehouse on the side of the road about two hours northeast of Montreal. Inside baby blue barrels of maple syrup were stacked six high in rows, hundreds deep. Full, each barrel weighed about 620 pounds with grade A syrup trading about $32 per gallon. That adds up to 1800 a barrel, approximately 13 times the price of crude oil. The fiscal year was coming to a close and the Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup Producers had hired Gauvreol company Vera Grimar to audit its inventory. Quebec dominates the maple syrup market and since 2002 the Federation has operated as a legal cartel setting production quotas and prices for rising buyers and stockpiling syrup. There were about 16,000 barrels here, about one-ninth of Quebec's annual production. The gap between the rows was barely wide enough to walk through, and the rubber soles of Gauverol steel tip boots stuck to the sugar-coated concrete floor. Here is the graph that shows how much does maple syrup cost per barrel compared to barrel of oil. Now, as you know that, here's the story of the great Canadian maple syrup heist. 11 years ago in Quebec, 3,000 tons of maple syrup were stolen from the Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup. It was a significant theft. 702 barrels were stolen that day. Each barrel weighed 101 kilogram. The total volume was estimated at $16.5 million dollars and much of it was never recovered. Here's what went down. The thieves of the Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist of 2012 were ultimately tracked down, though it took considerable effort for the police to determine the full scale of the operation. The subsequent investigation led to 26 arrests and more than 200 witness interviews, creating a bizarre story surrounding one of the Quebec's major resource and its sweetness. In court, one of the thieves, Richard Valieres, claimed that he had been forced to buy the stolen syrup and replace it with water after being threatened by an unnamed man carrying a gun. The injury was not convinced, however, and found Valieres guilty of theft, fraud and trafficking stolen goods. Valerius was sentenced to 7 years and 10 months in prison for his involvement and must pay $9.1 billion of fine. Authorities recovered 450 tons of the stolen maple syrup. Some of the recovered maple syrup was destroyed because it was not safe for human consumption. Quebec maintains an important history and culture surrounding maple syrup. To extend that nowadays maple syrup production in the province around for 80% of the global flow of maple syrup. The industry has an excess of $400 million in annual sales. The second leading region is Maine in the USA, accounting for less than 10% of the world's maple syrup production. Considering the cultural and economic importance of this natural resource, it should be no surprise that price fixing and substantial theft of maple syrup are transpiring in Quebec. With so much money on the line, product is just so fiercely contested and guarded as some recreational drugs. The maple syrup heist that took place in 2012 remains one of the most daring and fascinating criminal acts of our time. Despite considerable effort made by law enforcement, much of the stolen syrup still remains missing, leading many to speculate whether it will never be discovered. However, the largest impact of the heist might be its highlighting of the comparatively unknown maple syrup industry.
as well as hard-working farmers who are dependent upon it for their livelihood. As we relish every single drop of the sweet golden elixir, let us commemorate the ingenious and persistent individuals who provide it to our table and the extremes to which some may go in order to acquire it. Thank <laughs> you.